This is the video for 8.2 where we're using the roster calculator um, to create a Boolean result between slope and road market access. Now where we left off before was we were in a shapefile format or in a vector format for road market access and we can see it here on the screen. Now what's important is, is that if you're currently outside of a geodatabase I would suggest getting this feature into a geodatabase before you do your um, processing. Um, so before we have to now convert this particular feature into a roster to have it work with our slope roster. So to do that we need to make a conversion and that conversion can take quite a while if it's outside of a geodatabase. So let's export it right now. If, you, if you're not currently in a default geodatabase or in your own geodatabase I really would suggest sending this road market access um, to to one first. Okay, so I'm just going to call this RMA. Um, I'm just going to call it RMA. That's fine. I'll just call it RMA and say save and say okay. So it's going to go ahead and create the same instance of the feature that's called road market access, but I'm just calling it RMA and it's in the geo database importantly. Okay, so I have these two, I have slope and then I have RMA here. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to find the areas that are within road market access because we consider those to be suitable areas. And then we need to go into our roster for slope and pick out just the yellows. Those are the ones between two and seven um, in terms of slope. So we need to get those two characteristics into a roster format. And to do that, what we're going to do is first uh, convert to roster, our RMA, and then we'll get into the roster calculator. So I need to go to conversion tools and I'm going to go to to roster. I'm going to be feature to roster. And my input here is going to be RMA. Um, the field would be a FID or object FID. Now we're going to send it to the default geo database and I'm going to call it, um, I think the name is access. The book wants us to call it access roster. So let's call it access. I'm just going to call it AR for access roster. So the output cell size is going to be 90. We know, we know that our slope is 90. Uh, the cell size is 90 um, meters, so we're going to have that same cell size. It's important when we're doing any calculations between rosters that we have the same cell size between all rosters. So we know it's 90. Let's just go ahead and type in 90. That will also speed up processing if we know exactly what it is, and we'll say OK. So this is going to create a new roster now for us, and this should take about 10 seconds to do. If you're taking more than a few minutes to process it, um, it likely has something to do with uh, where your feature is located or how it's been named. Okay, so now we have AR and we have a value of 1. Now what's important is, is that if you have a value of 0, that's great. But basically, we see this purple area now as being the suitable area, and it's calling it 1 as the result. So if you have a 1, you need to factor that in when you're using your calculator to create the equation. So let's get into, um, and, and again, the book calls for 0. So if you're not in 0, if you're in 1, you've got to make sure you're using 1 instead of, as the book suggests, using 0. So now we need to go into um, a Spatial Analyst, or the book I think has a different way of getting into the roster calculator. But basically you can get into a calculator through Spatial Analyst tools and down uh, at Map Algebra. We can click on Map Algebra and open up the roster calculator. Now the equation uh, that I suggest you use is probably a little different than the book. Um, uh, Let's go ahead and first set up what we're going to call it. We're going to send it to the default geo database. And the book, let me check what name they want this to be. Give me just one quick second here. Uh, it looks like they might be calling it suitability test. Okay, so I'm just going to call mine ST for suitability test, ST. 
And what we're going to do here is set up the equation. Remember, this is AR, is the, the access um, roster in the equation in the book. So I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to put, I'm going to use uh, some uh, containers here. So I'm going to say this now equals, whoop, I got this wrong. Bear with me here. A, a R equals zero, or actually not zero. In my case, it's going to be one. So purple's one. That's what I want. And then I'm going to enclose him. And then I need to also be that particular value plus I need slope. Okay, slope, double click on slope is going to be greater than or equal to two. And then we'll enclose that. And then we're going to say, we're going to say plus. Uh, actually, it's not plus, it's and, I believe. Hang on one second. Yeah, it's and. I need to go back and change those to and. Okay, so here it's going to be and. And here it's going to be and. So now slope, I'm going to put slope back in. And this is going to be slope is less than or equal to 7. And I'm going to enclose that. And I'm going to send it to the vault, default geodatabase and call it ST. This looks to me like it should run OK. And we say OK. This will take a second to do the calculation. And then we'll take a look at the result once it's done. OK, that took a few moments to process. Now let's take a look at what we have back now. Um, so we want to think about this logically. So we have slope and we also have um, our input for road market access. Let's zoom into our result. Let's zoom into this area right over here and think about what we have back. So here um, our zero value, we're calling that an unsuitable value. Okay, so that's going to fall if we look at our result. If we click on and off of it, we can see here the purple zero is within road market access, which is great, but it's at a slope that's smaller than two. So it's going to be unsuitable and thus zero. Whereas if we come over here, we can see that we're within road market access in the green area, which is my one value, that corresponds with slope between 2 and 7 which is yellow so if we click on and off that we can see that so visually make sure that you check your results before you proceed just to um, see if you're actually getting um, uh, the correct result that you expect and in this case we're really interested in the value of 1 so what you're going to do from here is you're now going to send this to a polygon format and continue a pace in the assignment. So um, the next step here will just be to continue in, in exercise 8.2 um, where you're going to just be working with the grid code in the shapefile result of in my case it's one here, it's the green area.